all right welcome back to the channel i can't get bad in. in today's video we're back with xcom chimera squad i gotta deal with not having two not only of my favorite characters but the ones that i can use the best blue blood and zephyr on the team for the last mission uh although shelter is still pretty good i don't want claymore i'm not claymore i don't want uh axiom on the team i started talking about this at the end i'd rather have claymore i feel like he's tactically better and patchwork because she has the consistent damage plus she can deal increased damage to any um to any robotics we run into so i think this is how we're gonna do it i'm gonna have to take axiom's gun away too go ahead and buy those mastercrafted um the mastercrafted assault rifles and do you have your own gun he already has his own okay cool I almost launched the mission on accident i would have been i would have to restart the game i was going to reload the entire game and it makes more sense for you to have you to have the scope because you'll be shooting more you can have the impact frame because you'll probably end up close more often you can have the extended magazine because i know we have the impetus fire which is banished right which i think allows us to keep on shooting if I can remember the banish ability correctly, if I can find it, oh, there it is. Uh, fire at a targeted unit, you run, fire at a targeted until you run out of ammo or it dies. Let me get this thing the last stuff it needs. It's whatever's left over, pretty much. Unknown hostile swarming city hall. The protected detail was, well, they were completely overwhelmed. Then, let us return the favor. Hmm. Uh, successful shots on enemies during the breach will stun. First unit is guaranteed to land a shot. And then a plus to mobility for these two. Uh... I'll have going in. yeah I like the order that they're going in, in right now, now. now do we have any robotic enemies in here we're guaranteed to land our shot on them and she's very likely to kill them if she does it Cobra I don't think we do it doesn't look like it Okay, well, we'll start dealing damage to this paladin because we do know that they're gonna drop a shoot. No, that's the guardians. The paladins are psionic. Never mind. I don't know. I don't know who to go for here. I guess we'll just take our highest chance to hit shots. No, I should have used his shot differently. I wasn't paying attention. I should have used his shot to try and shoot the um. The paladin. No, because I was thinking them as the guardian again too. I'm trying to figure out where I want him to shoot. Obviously, I'm confused. I'm thinking of paladins from like D and D, which is what's throwing me off because they usually are people with shields, or the characters generally would have a shield, right? 
and the guardian gives out a shield so it was mixing them up who does she have angles on or he used chaining jolts on them I don't like the first encounter of this ever because it's so spread out that you can't really do much. You can put something in stasis though. Yeah, we'll put them in stasis. Ejecting target. It's gonna put less time to torque. Well, really, yeah, less time to torque's turn. I don't want to start with this, but things are so grouped up, but I can only hit two, which isn't the best. I'll go for, yeah, I'll go for this one. See if we can get a stun or just, yeah, we got a stun, so they're out of the turn. I want to get away Still from these coming. cars too because I know my luck with them is terrible. They always blow up. Locking down target. Okay, that's the one who's poison. And I, I guess he's glitching right now because this is he's he's pretty still. He's sitting pretty still. Interesting. Not. I am still up. Of course the weapon got disabled too. So. It should grenade. end the overwatch also. No, no, no. <sighs> no, it didn't end the overwatch. I thought it would. Alright. We can get this bomb out here somewhere. We could, oh, what do we do? We could just throw it to deal damage over here. Nothing else is really grouped up to use this turn code grenade on. I don't want to just use it on one person for no reason. They're stunned, they're in stasis, in the bomb. I should have put it on number eight and then had them move towards six. Yeah. Oh well. Seven minor damage was done either way. That turn is skipped. That turn is skipped and the bomb went off. On the move. Eliminated. You cannot Did that hit? Down. It never gives me a good angle on him. Okay. So keep dealing damage up here. I also have to remember that these uh cobras and stuff like that. I don't really I can't remember what like what their race is called or whatever. But they're also immune to poison, like uh Get over here. Torque. So not to use my poison abilities on them. Cool. I also had a feeling that that might activate its overwatch, but it didn't, so it didn't matter. Because I know if you pull, tongue pull something in front of, like, let's say, Blue Blood was used, like, uh, ever vigilant, right? If I use tongue pull, he's going to shoot at the person I pulled. But apparently, it doesn't work in reverse, so it's fine. I don't really know what I want to do on his turn. He doesn't have a good enough angle on anybody to to like start changing too much. I didn't even see this bomber in here either. He way in the back. But yeah, I couldn't get him into a good spot to do anything worth doing. Right. Stasis is over. Yeah, you still have an angle on them. 
have a shot on three, but it's not the best. And it won't kill either. Don't need to use banish right now. You might as well just kill them. Yeah, you just might as well kill them because it doesn't matter. I wasn't finna move or anything. I think she's gonna get a pretty good spot. She's pretty kind of far away from the action, but she has a pretty good range with the assault rifle and the um the just the gremlin shock thing. Took a hit. I can manage. I was gonna say I don't know how he hasn't Stronger taken more damage. Think. All right, you can drop a turn code on those two. Ah! They grouped all the way up. Bracketing target. Target in sight. These dudes don't do any damage. Literally did one damage to each other. Gonna go off at four. Explosive out. I can work with that. Number three might still lose their turn though, because they're berserk. Sometimes they don't get him. Is anything else close enough to drop this on? I can put one here. Just have to remember where it is so nobody else runs into the range of it. That's okay because okay. she still has the disorient or not disorientate. What is it? Chaining jolt is what it's called. Don't get your turn. Don't move. Cool. I guess the car's not gonna blow up because we know those don't go up for grenades. They only blow up for like bullets. It didn't connect. Pistol shots to be more exact, but. Yeah, we might as well yeah we might as well start taking people out it doesn't make sense to not kill them like and i was gonna thinking about taking a shot on someone who's high in the it's turn order but really day. we just need to be clearing space uh okay I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> there it is. Um, okay. That shit went hella far. Anyways, I don't see how that one can go so far either. We can't throw grenades that far, but we can throw this little thing. Anyways, doesn't matter. That's just me complaining about how far enemies can throw grenades compared to us. Go ahead and bind them up. And you can't do anything else for real. Might as well just take this shot on them. Yeah. Give me a moment to reload. This might kill both of them because they're both pretty low. And I think we went for the ability that increased the damage, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Anyways, we still took both of them out. He moves, loses his turn. Reload. All right. First, they move him out of his poison. Damn, I guess I am gonna have to reload this, huh? 
feel this way over here. Never mind. This is civilian. So like right here. I think they might move off on this thing. And if it doesn't at least keep them away, they're at least That's a miss. if it doesn't keep them away, they are gonna walk in and explode. Yeah, so they walked into it. Try that again if you dare. Interesting. Uh sustain that. I forgot all about that Copa. Restricting target mobility. We're already not moving, so that don't matter. Oh, never mind. I forgot she lets go when she takes damage. But she is going to heal now because she's in poison at the end of her turn. I just no, cut out. I, I have to just had to jump off real quick. I don't know what I was, what's happening. I knew this was going to happen as I was getting up, but I had to go. So I'm back the next day to finish this shit. Uh, well, not this shit. I'm going to go kick their asses, I think. I don't know. I keep wanting to say an intro now, but I know that I don't need to. Where's her health? She's cool on health. That's not cover. Move her over to this side. Does she have a free reload? She does. But I can also do chaining jolt, which is a guaranteed hit. It also might stun or disorientate them too, which should keep her safe from a shot. Because she's has to deal with this four and five by herself. With them disorientated, they might either not shoot. They'll either not shoot at all in their turn and just move around, or they're gonna um knock a few scales off. Shoot, but they have a, like a really low chance of hitting. Because of the disorientate. Shrapnel. And drop this on them because it's gonna go off before their turn. And then okay, you can't make it all the way over there. Let's drop this grenade over here. Just to see if they'll move out from their spot. Or see if they'll stay there, because that's the dude or someone over there ran into a bomb. They still hit with that. that got through. Okay. Oh, I want to take both of them out, but I can't. I'll take out the python since I know they're next. And you can take them out. If I teleport with him, will he be able to see somebody else? He might be able to. I'm still mad that I wasn't able to get Zephyr on the team for this. Now you can still only see them. I was hoping to get an angle on the four, maybe and hit them with soul fire, push them down in the turn order. Let's just go for another chaining jolt. That dude's already disorientated, so he's gonna be fine. And then we stun that one, so they're both not gonna do too much on their turns. He's still poisoned, but he keeps healing anyway, so it should be fine. Here, catch. This doesn't end his turn anymore, too, so I don't have to worry about that. They didn't move because they were stunned. I didn't pay attention to that, but I can't just just prepare, I guess. This disorientation didn't do anything against uh, uh his aim. He landed every single shot, disorientated or not. That was a cool little spark too when he when she left his aura. Ugh, I can taste your sweat. Gross. Nearly yanked my 
my limb off. Uh, I thought she was going to be able to use Chaining Jolt to take out that dude. But I guess not. Heading over. This dude is just super far away from everybody is the issue. I don't have any angle on him. There we go. That shit took too long. I might cut most of that. Or just fast forward that because that's like way too long to get to him. Security cameras are locked down. I have no eyes inside. There's more gunfire in the council chambers. Hurry. Uh, last one through this entrance gets plus one armor for the encounter. All engine mobility. First one through this entrance is marked. I want to send. I'm not gonna send anybody through there then. I don't like them being marked at all. Who has the health kit? Is it patchwork? Yeah, it is. I know I should have bought a second one of those. But we already need to use it because she took a bunch of damage in that last one. I'm going to try and take out this guardian pretty quick. Damn, it's two of them. I know the alert one is going to drop its shield for sure. But there's no alert one, so the aggressive one can uh, go first. All right. All of our shots to kill this one dude. It might have made more sense to spread that damage out, but we had already used them all on him. There's something an Andromeda or something in here or a robot. I don't know why I just did some heavy ass footsteps if it was nothing big in here. Anyways. Throwing grenade. See if we can get them to lose that turn. Ah! And can we Yeah, see? Yeah, I hear that. Maybe that's in the next room over. I don't know if it was doing this last time. I don't think I can get this to hit both of the uh the eight and the nine, so I'll just get these two. Was it nine and eleven? Yeah, okay. I just have to remember to not teleport or tongue pull either of those two. I see it. And I guess there's a civilian right there. Ooh, this dude is so lucky there's a civilian there. Shit. Alright. Put this Throwing over here explosive. then. I can work with that. All right, cool. We did get him to lose his turn. Erasing target. Now the rub shit and the all of the armor just got shredded away too. So if we can hit someone with Shannon and Jordan have a jump. That would be pretty good. That would kill. This would kill also. I'm hoping that it's gonna jump between those two and it's just not showing me or something like that. Who's gonna be close in the turn though? Both of them will get hit if I do them. If I can straight up take one of these two two out. I think the brutes are too far away right now to do anything, so we'll start with the stuff that has a closer range. Target weapon. That's fine because she's probably just gonna tongue pull somebody anyways. And then they missed him, but he probably wasn't gonna shoot either. So neither of those are issues. Okay. Who's next? And then hit number three. 
Ooh, with rupture, that does way more damage. All right. He's gonna move over here, right? I'm out again. Uh, you can reload. Ready to and then fire. bind. And just take them out just of the fight. Does he get a recharge of two? No, it's only two for the first round, I guess. Or he recharges it once per round, maybe? I don't know. But we can definitely drop this on these, all of them, pretty much. And then who can you see to shoot at? Yeah, we might as well take them out now. We don't want to take any unnecessary damage to shelter. Target dropped. Finding the flank. He's probably gonna drop a shield too, yep. Guess I should have killed him while I had the chance. I was really thinking about that. Providing cover. That'll leave a mark. Are they all close enough? Yeah. Okay. This is gonna hit all three of them. We might kill those two. Calling the lightning. But it did disorient hit everybody. Target weapon in sight. Fear not. I am still up. Next time, don't get hit. Changing locale. It's really okay. The, the, the. Switch them around so they get pushed further back. And you don't have a shot. You have this grenade though. We can just take both Hurry of those, up. both of them out too. How did I do that? Do a grenade. It's pretty simple. Let's put you. Well, we can't put you in Overwatch. Just reload. Yeah, might as well. I'm reloading. You can use tongue pull on whoever you can grab the most e the most face. easiest. The most easily. Have the highest chance of grab. Yeah, let's go with that. That sounds better. I mean, all we really have to do is a bunch of damage to them. The civilian is still in the way. Explosive out. Stay back. It's gonna blow. And now if they stay where they are, they're gonna get messed up. By the, uh, I'm gonna put another one right on top of it too. Because I don't know where they're gonna really move to that's safer. That they can actually get to. By the way it goes now i can still start doing even more damage to them since they're ruptured i saved that grenade for the Don't last encounter a thousand cuts okay that bounce they lose a turn cool cool all right He, he just reloaded. I don't know why he did anything. Shelter? Can anyone hear me? Deputy Mayor, what's your status? I made it to a panic room, but they're trying to break in. Stay put. We're outside the council chambers. All right. We do have a scan in. Racing through this entrance has their weapon disabled. As you know, through this entrance is guaranteed to land a shot. I think Claymore is built for critical damage. Racing with this entrance has their weapon disabled. We'll have Twerk go first because she's probably going to bind somebody. We'll use the ceasefire bomb here. We never used the hollow scan, I don't think so. We brought her just for that. There are mechs in here though, so we did have her equipped to deal extra damage to those mechs.
Yeah. She's gonna do 10 to 12 damage. I think it's a guaranteed kill no matter what on it. Now let's see if there's something else in here that she might be able to. It's two mechs in here. This one's alert though, so let's go for this one. I think that's just going for the other one because we had a higher crit chance. Damn, still didn't kill it. Both of these bombers are. Uh, aggressive. I'm hoping I can get another good shot on this one. Try and take at least one of them out. We don't need two shotgun shots coming out. I'm not gonna. I don't think I should take that shot at 50%, though. Use Dazzle and make sure that we hit at least one of the aggressives, too. I don't know if there's like a range or something like that, or if they have cover from the Dazzle, it's not gonna hit them. use reprogram overloading target did some damage all right that didn't go well the chaining jolt will do to him six to seven if i go for a shot on them it'll be 10 to 12 still how do we roll armor. a nine? Oh, we must have did 10 when shredding that armor uh took that one damage okay that's fine you're safe now, guy. No, you ran away from us, so you didn't just automatically do it. Also, I don't think that's a guy. I'm not concerned about the game. I'm trying to see who this person is. All right. This is more spectral zombies. Okay. So I really want to take those dudes out before we get to their turn. Because otherwise, I'm going to deal with a whole bunch of shit. Now, is this a guy or a girl? It's a, it is a guy, okay. Okay. We do have a turn code grenade, but I don't think we can get this far enough to do any, to hit anybody that we'd really want it to. Put a sticky grenade on you because that's going to take you out no matter what damn i was hoping he would get close enough to take out the other one too it would have been nice but i had a feeling it wasn't going to give that to me it doesn't matter though because i can just take the shot and take it out clearing the board there's never enough ammo her weapon is disabled but she can pull one of these people who's gonna go. I think I want to take a bomb out of the fight though, just so they're not throwing grenades all over the place. Um, put poison on down, and then bind. I don't know how much health that thing has. And are they all focused on it or are they going to go for us too? No, he moved for both of his actions. All right. Number two was already taken out. And relocate with three. And who can we see to shoot at? Oh, wait. Yeah, we should probably shoot it down. Now we need to shoot at one of these necromancers. Otherwise, we're going to take a bunch of damage from them. Because we can take them out. We'll start. The spectral zombies go away when we take them out. And then right now, I think, what? It's four of them? So that's a whole bunch. Patrick's turn now. This will change to a whole bunch of them too. Because of those spectral zombies, so this will take out a few. Target off the board. 
I mean, I didn't do what I should have done, which was like more damage to this bomber. I just put in flank of torque and really the rest of the team. It's cool. You have my undivided attention. I had to watch these things move real slowly to their targets. That one might hit. I knew the other one wasn't going to. I don't know what that did. Yeah, I definitely didn't play these last like, well, I didn't play shelters turn, right? I didn't put them in a good spot. Uh, Is this going to go off? Okay, let's make sure it hits four then. I can work with that. And also, if we can get this to hit both of them, yeah, okay. This way they start dealing more damage to themselves. And it's like two shots for the price of one grenade. I think the other one ended up reloading. So that's unfortunate. Didn't know the weapon was disabled. They're going to die before they get their turn now. Well, they're going to die the way, I guess. Didn't expect them to crit and kill it all at once. Go ahead and sustain that because I don't think it's going to die. Don't do anything. You're berserk. Cool. It, it said it wasn't going to do damage to it. Okay. It's not going to end my turn. I can just use it to get help. That's pretty cool. Never mind. Stop that. All right. Need some help? Thought I was doing something cool. Just blew myself up. That's what that, that must have been with a prime to second it on its turn. I didn't take them out. Don't need to deal with them. I'm up here, I was going to say she should have a good angle on this necromancer and that'll take out those spectral zombies. That should end this encounter then. Right? No, I forgot about them. You just shoot. Either you'll hit them or they're going to die of poison in a second. There's no problem there. All right. Second city hall is a bold move, but it feels like an act of desperation. Deputy Mayor Parada and the surviving counselors are now un unified. The mood of the city in the face of this threat in so is solidarity, not fear. Whoever is behind this attack miscalculated. God damn, I lost it like halfway through. A panic room? Oh. A panic room? Is this some kind of joke? I wish it were. Like it or not, we must prepare for the worst. She has it right. Then I vote to authorize funding. Just like that. We rarely agree with each other. When you do, I know the matter isn't trivial, even if I don't entirely understand it. Even through all that, our anarchy went up. Hey, I want to ask you about the Bugtown Massacre. If you must. You and your fellow mutons were already prisoners of war. Yes. I've seen the footage. You charged those chrysalids head on. Well, our captors froze. Someone had to lead us before the chrysalids overran us, so I led. You saved a lot of humans, even the ones taking you to a detention camp. Why? The war was over. I was ready for what came next. Whatever that was. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 
I like this insight into the Bugtown Town Massacre. Hopefully there's like an expansion or something that's going to explain the Bugtown Town mass Massacre. Vampire is another good one. I think it's like three shots at one enemy or something like that. Um, but I like Lightning Hands better. It fits, it fits a Blue Blood's skill set much better. We have... Ooh. I know what Atlas was planning. The progeny, Grey Phoenix, Sacred Coil. Each group they backed was set up to fail. But with each running rampant, 3-1 PD would stretch thin enough to break. And who steps in? Mercenaries. Shrike. Exactly. Fear was the point, and it would have worked if Chimera Squad hadn't pushed back. So they pushed back on City Hall. And if a government no longer exists, you replace the government. But they were sloppy. The mercenaries were coordinated out of Ascension Tower. Atlas is in there? That was Advent's old headquarters. The place is a fortress. A fortress I want you inside. We need to hit Atlas before they realize they're burned. I have an idea on how to get in, but uh, the squad isn't going to like it. Brief them on the way. This can't wait. Hilarious. That's going to wait until next time, though, for sure, because I'm pretty sure this video is going to be close to an hour if I just do the one mission. Did Zephyr finish her training? She did not. Still didn't make it. And Blue Blood still has that scar, too, so. Wait, where's Blue Blood at? Is he just an idol? Yeah, he is. Oh. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, next episode, we'll be taking down Sacred Coil. That's wow. I don't even know why I said that. We'll be taking down Atlas. That shit came out of nowhere. Uh, ooh, standard shot does not automatically end turn. I'll buy that. I'm going to forget that I bought that. I'm not going to record for a while. I need to edit. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow the other socials in the description down below. And I'll see you next time.